through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 190. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our DVD rundown for the week of September 25th. Yeah. Pretty good week. Mm -hmm. It uh, is. Pleased with the options that we have available. I'm definitely so excited. It is a win for the DVD mm -hmm. buyers out there. Mm -hmm. the, or Blu-ray buyers. Yeah, or that's pirates. True. We don't, we don't, we don't support piracy. Piracy is not endorsed by the MacGuffin Podcast.com. <laughs> yeah. Our name is <laughs> Anyway, obviously the headliner this week is the release of The Avengers. Yes, yes, yes. This is the Marvel blockbuster, mm -hmm. almost assuredly the number one film at the box office this year. Yes. I mean, I think it's number three of all time yes, at this point. Yes, yes. I think they brought it back in theaters recently to try to see if they could bump it up a little bit higher. To I think get they have closer a long to Avatar, way to go. They were, yeah. I think they have a long way to they go. Do. But, you know, nevertheless, I mean, it's it's a good good addition. I don't know how many people are going to be holding off for that sort of souped up mm. uh, cinematic phase one yes. edition that they had mentioned in the past. Mm -hmm. As of right now, that's sort of um, unclear when yes. that will be released. 2013 is the earliest they're saying. But People who've pre-ordered them can pro get... Uh, free Blu-ray copies of the Avengers when it is released. So if you've pre-ordered it and you still haven't got it, contact whoever you bought it through yeah. or pre-ordered it through. But, you know, nevertheless, if you like just the Avengers, yes. which probably would be the way I would go. I yeah. don't know if I need all of those films, yeah. Yeah. per se. It's, it's a pretty good edition. You got the Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, plus digital music download. Dang. Get the soundtrack as well this time. That is a lot of stuff. Yes. All you got at once. all sorts of uh, special features. You got an audio commentary by Joss Whedon, which I am very much looking forward to. As am I. You have a... Love his commentaries. Yeah. You have a, a Marvel one-shot, mm -hmm. item yes. 47. That's right, which with is, uh, Lizzie Kaplan. And Jesse Bradford mm -hmm. as Claire and Benny who rob banks with a piece of alien technology they recovered from the New York battle site. Eventually, we see them in a motel room with a load of money. Their neighbor starts playing music really loud. Benny goes out to investigate, but he doesn't return. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> yes. Yes. So that could be cool. I the like, one-shots are awesome. Yeah, I like them both a lot, you know. You have a, a whole bunch of deleted scenes. You have an alternate opening with a Maria Hill interrogation. Mm -hmm. You have an alternate ending. Mm -hmm. Maria Hill interrogation. Yes. <laughs> Not both sure if that's... I've seen. Is it the exact same thing? No. It's different? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, she's telling recounting what's happened to the shield like board mm. so she bookends the story with kind of an intro and an outro so mm. cool a uh, whole bunch of other ones in addition to that mm -hmm. the uh man out of time steve rogers yes. clip which has been on the internet as well i've yes. seen that one but you know you got a few featurettes as well uh assembling the ultimate team being the one that i'm most interested in checking out but you know Mm. Very comprehensive edition. It covers all your platforms. It covers all the angles of the Avengers you might want to check out. So. Yes, there's been all those stills of this behind the scenes and special effects mm. stuff, so it would be interesting to see the in-depth actual footage of that totally. stuff, like how the Hulk was done. Yeah. Pretty and neat. Soundgarden music video, which nobody Ooh. really cares about. Hasn't since the 90s. Yes. Next up, we're going to talk uh, another uh, comic-based property. Yes. Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 1. Yes, this is the Super. animated film, yes. not the Christopher Nolan opus. First, want to note that uh, a friend of mine actually said he saw it this weekend. I'm not going to ask how. I did not. Again, we did not keep support. it nebulous. Yeah. Uh, early word is not a fan of it. Oh. Did not like the animation style. I'm curious to check it out. Hmm. I love DC's animation work, so yes. I'm very curious to see what happens. But uh, yeah, because this is the Frank Miller. Uh, Dark Knight story. Yes, which obviously he was known for doing Year One, which was the basis of Batman Begins. Correct. Which was phenomenal. And the Year One animated film was pretty good, too. I actually like that one a lot. Nevertheless, this one, I, I, a little sketchy on the animation. Mm -hmm. I believe Peter Weller is the voice yes. of Batman, which yes. I'm not in love with. I mean, I don't know why you just don't go Kevin Conroy every time. I think that the whole thing, I mean, and same with the animation style. This is... They're just like Dark Knight Returns was so different in the departure from other Batman, I think they wanted it to be different. Or maybe it's just different, like a uh, housing studio that's actually making it and they maybe. can't get the money. Could be. And, you know, Peter Weller does seem like a grizzled old man, so he probably would be a good voice for that. Yeah, maybe yeah. Kevin Conroy's bored of being Batman. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. That's not going to no. happen. Sad Bread and butter. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, uh, there's essentially no special features yeah. on this. There's just a preview of part two, Blech. which kind of, you're getting. 
So you might as well wait. If you, you like it, you might as well rent it yeah. and wait for or part two and just get wait some for the, collection. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The two-part collection. Yeah. I mean, that's inevitable. It's probably six months away, but like, doesn't seem worthwhile enough to buy just this, yeah. if you ask me. I'll, so, I'll hold out for it to be on Netflix instant. I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit worried after hearing the word that the animation's not so not so hot, so... Yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what it's like. We will. Moving on, one that you wanted to mention. This is Cinerama, the 60th anniversary combo Blu-ray DVD edition. Yeah. Um, first off, let's note, Cinerama is a type of widescreen process yes. which has three projectors simultaneously uh, projecting uh, synchronized footage yes. at the screen, uh, which is deeply curved. I believe it's 146 degrees yeah, or four, something. Yeah, I think it's like 146 or 148, something like that. As of right now, there are only three theaters in the world that still can show Cinerama, and we have one here in Seattle. Yes, we do. Just name Cinerama. Cinerama. And it is the only one that can show Super Cinerama. So. And if you've ever, if you've been there recently, if you look above the two exit doors, that's where the second projectors are on either side. You can see the banks yeah. where they're at. Which is which is pretty cool. I mean, I don't think they do it that often, but yeah, it's a, I think it's for a lot of the old or like oh, how totally, the list was sure. one type stuff. Uh, in terms of this film, this is Cinerama. It's essentially, you know, like one of those movies you see at IMAX, where yes. it's a mashup of a bunch of different footage like things. Mini documentaries. Yeah, like there's, you know, The Canals of Venice, there's uh, America the Beautiful, which is viewed from the nose of a B 25 bomber, there's a awesome. bullfight and musical performance in Spain, a whole bunch of different sort of vignettes all together. Very cool. A lot of different uh, bits on this in terms of special features. You got an audio commentary with one of the guys from Cinerama, Inc. You have a, a Cinerama historian, you have a special audio recording from Jim Morrison who was on the crew of wow. this film. You have a cool. bunch of different uh, reels of Cinerama footage. You have TV spots. You have a, a tribute to new neon movies, which is one of the first theaters to really push Cinerama gotcha. to the I masses. See. You have uh, special photo galleries of behind the scenes, Loaded. original programs, memorabilia, newspaper ads, all that sort of Good stuff. Lord. And then you have uh, a radio interview from 1952 with Fred Waller on the eve of opening night. So wow. That's, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. So those of you, you know, uh, locals of the area here who are interested in this little history behind Cinerama type theaters, something out there for you. Yeah, and I, maybe they'll show this film on there someday. That'd, That'd be, be pretty, pretty cool. cool. Yeah. I, would, I would look forward to checking that out. I always did like those IMAX movies, so why not mm -hmm. this? Exactly. Finally, we're going to wrap this up with a the big package of the week, <laughs> so to speak. And that is Bond 50, the complete 22 film collection. Yes. As you might imagine, this is a 20, 23 disc edition yes. with every single movie. You can <laughs> either get DVD or Blu-ray. Nice. Um, Good day of com options. Comes in at a, 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 a wonderful $185 price point <laughs> for those of you who have a little extra cash. It's pretty good. But the cool thing is it includes every version's like special edition of the Very film cool. so you get all the commentaries all the special features for awesome. each ver each film included in there so it's not just Very like the base bone gotcha. bare bones like versions of everything similar to the harry potter package that came out a while back we don't know about that one still <laughs> oh that's right. i still speculate <laughs> that they're not dicking yeah. us over but could be um no this one has all that good stuff okay. in addition as a 23rd disc with a few uh, uh, additional special features hmm. one about the world of bond showcasing unforgettable moments of danger seduction adventure and a dash of distinguish uh and a dash of that distinguished humor that fans cherished from hmm. the beginning uh, it's also one of those has, things that you get your dad who doesn't have any of the Bond totally, movies yet. Totally. It's like, here you go. It's also got pop-up trivia for that stuff. Yes, I and love pop-up trivia. It also has a feature add on being Bond, gain insight into the actors that actually portrayed Very Bond. Very cool. So that's pretty pretty awesome as well. You know, Connery, Craig, Moore, Zelazny. Dalton. Zelazny. Is it Sly? Or, or who am I? The Majesty. Lazenby? Lazenby, thank you. <laughs> it's a Lazenby. Yeah. You're getting me That's confused. That's an author, sorry. <laughs> wrong, was it putting the right, uh, wrong emphasis on the right syllable? Mm -hmm. Wrong, em right yes. emphasis on the wrong syllable? Yes. Um, and Brosnan, of course, yes. is the last one. And finally, you've got Skyfall yes. video blog, so that's pretty cool. Very cool. Anyway. We love Craig. That is it for this week. Let us mm -hmm. know which DVDs you will be picking up at MacGuffinPodcast.com. Join us yep. next time for our discussion of Bruce Willis in honor of Looper. Yeah. Looper. And as Looper. we said, uh, MacGuffinPodcast.com, mm -hmm. Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast, phone number 323-761-9842. Give us your feedback. Please do. We're on iTunes, Blip, Roku, Miro. 
Check in a good glue. See you next time. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's don't even try to bite the sun. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.